day, good day, good day, and welcome back to the channel. So today's reading is for the Capricorn. All right, so this is your transformational reading, Capricorn. If you're new to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and hit like, comment, and subscribe. Tap that notification bell so you can receive all of the uploads. Also, if you're interested in receiving an already enchanted sacral bracelet or metaphysical bracelet, you can look in the description below and shop the birthday gift.org to receive your own personal intuitive bracelet. If you are interested in candles, body creams all natural butters and things like that shop shop therapies her link is also in the description below matter of fact i have several links in the description below so go ahead see if there's anything that you are interested in use my coupon code and you'll receive discounts all right so we're going to go ahead and see what transformational message is there for the capricorn okay Let's see. I hope you guys are doing well. Okay. Uh, I know the energy is shifting. It's a lot of changes that have came and went. We went through this beaver energy, y'all. And y'all already know how beavers operate. Okay. So we went through that. And a lot of us went through it gracefully, which was amazing. So you should have felt like some big spurts of energy like you just wanted to accomplish so much so we're going to see what's going on now we're moving into this solstice and this age of the aquarius you know all right oh okay so what source is wanting you to do is open your arms okay like reach out they're wanting you to reach out. Okay, and, 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 and we're paying close attention to how, you know, it appears as though, like, this image is, like, sad, like, just needing embrace or needing some encouragement. And what Source is letting you know is, like, you already have um, the encouragement, so just reach out. You already have the things that you need at your disposal. You already have certain things around you. So just reach out. Okay. They're also saying that. They want you to become a loving mirror. Okay. Become a loving mirror. There are some blocks here Capricorn. There are some blocks here and with these blocks, right? In certain aspects, there's like a reflection and this reflection is not the reflection of love, like that real love. Like there's needing some forms of work in the heart space all right so they want you to become a loving mirror they want you to reflect love in all that you do okay regardless to what it is source is wanting you to reflect love in all that you do and your numerology is 20 and 10 okay 20 and 10 so they're they are wanting you to reflect love show love in all that you do uh oh show love in all that you do all right here we have embrace oneness with the universe so it's listen embrace this oneness with the universe like all of this other all of these other focuses all of these central focuses that you are having here they don't even matter it's like they just want you to connect with the universe connect to the frequency and the vibration of the universe and then you'll notice that a lot of the things all right a lot of the things that that you are focused on a lot of the things that you are concerned with or worry yourself with it's not even of any importance right now so like reaching out and touching source and reaching out and grabbing hold of you know everything that's available to you and and, and really expressing love and compassion throughout everything that you do and becoming one with the vibration and the frequency of the universe that duality that wholeness that 
that that that feeling of completion and belonging all of that in that frequency so reach out to it right reach out to it you had to grab your card capricorn mm. setting these boundaries this protection all right establishes these boundaries right capricorn sometimes you may be finding yourself being involved in or doing things that you really don't want to do. Find yourself helping those you really don't even want to help. You just do it because that's your good nature. And honestly, in order to protect yourself, you're, you're going to have to establish some clear healthy boundaries because those are the type of people that are taking advantage of your good heart so you're really going to have to protect yourself all right you're going to have to protect yourself from those type of people, those manipulative type of people, those manipulative type of situations. Friends, family, foes, you know? And it's saying here, like, reveal your gifts. Like you're holding on to your talents and you you don't want to, you, you have the talents and People that know you know you have the talents, but you're not revealing your true gifts so that the world can see it. And this, you're in the time now where you, you are needing to show the world this. You're needing to show the world your gifts. You're needing to show the world what you are truly capable of. Ooh. And it's saying that you have to sacrifice those. So what are you willing to let go of? This is 26, you guys, because I know I probably didn't say it. This is 6. Oh, wow. And this is 28, okay? So what are you ready to let go of in order to make this happen? Because there's, there's going to have to be a release here. You're going to have to release. You're going to have to sacrifice something in order for this to come to pass so you're going to have to sacrifice something in order for your for your gifts to really show up the way that they're supposed to show up but you have to protect yourself from energies that are coming in and you have to also be the person that you desire to receive you also have to be the 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 you know how they say um in order to get respect you got to give respect type so you have to be a reflection of whatever it is that you're desiring which is why they want your heart to be a, a mirror of love they want you to be compassionate you ain't gotta <laughs> you ain't gotta smite them every time okay so they really want your compassion to show up here capricorn you gotta show it all right you want compassion, you got to give compassion. You want love, you got to express love. You got to lead with love. I know, that's a, that's a toughie. But hey. So what else do you have with Capricorn? Oh, yes. So they're wanting you to ex 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 experience this immense joy, right? Here's what's going on, Capricorn. Sources wanting you to experience this immense joy. Like they want you to ride in on this wave of joy because it's available to you. It's at your disposal, right? Number nine. But what is happening here is that there is some denial. You are denying. This is a warning. You are in denial about something. So you need to really search and figure out what, what are you in denial about? Okay. It's like all of these things are attacking you and you're just like, oh, it's not happening to me. You know, look at this. Look at this. 
So that's what it seems like. It's like it's all these things are coming up against you or something is happening or, or you're warring against yourself. Like it's a war of you against yourself and you are in denial that this is actually happening. Okay? So once you... You, you take into account that this is something that's really happening. This is what's happening right now in addressing this, all right? Facing it head on, riding on your chariot and face this thing head on, all right? Then you'll be able to experience this immense joy. But you can't be de in denial about your real circumstances here. And this is a transformational reading. So this reading is for people that are here to look for this change. What is needing to be done to be changed? What is needing to be changed? And you overlooking, you being in denial about your true circumstances is what is needing to be changed here. You got to hit it head on in order to experience this immense joy. All right. Okay. But yeah. Nine, seven, and that looks like Roman numeral seven. So nine, seven, seven. All right. But you, you, you definitely got to face this thing head on. Hmm. What else we got? Source. This look like two. Oh no, it's, oh, it is two. Okay. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> so. So as you're in this moment and you're doing this reflection here, clarity is going to come. It's like this tower moment, this tower moment that they're warning you of, this thing that they're warning you of. It's like clarity is is supposed to set in for you here. Like you, you're at a point now where you are realizing like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should, you know? Because these cycles here, it's like, these cycles that keep presenting themselves and now this clarity is here and it's showing up in the time that the storm is at its peak it's showing up in the time that the storm is at its peak and here we have some confusion so with this confusion, this is a representation of growing and, and and with this growth, it is saying that this growth is painful, this growth hurts, this growth is not um it's unpleasant, all right? There's uncertainty and so with this hurt we, we have to harness new ways. We have to find new ways to get through this level of uncertainty here. See? It's like this person is in despair and just trying to find, just trying to hold on to what little light they have here. All right. So that's where this confusion is coming. But in the midst of this confusion, in this, in the midst of this storm, this is where the clarity comes in. Right. And that's when you begin to attack this problem head on here with the Athena. Okay. But it's coming. Okay? But when it's healing, it's supposed to be this transformation is, is going to be painful. It's up to you to find the clarity in the midst of that pain. <laughs> and listen, allow your wisdom to play out. So we got 34, 36, and 3. You have a lot of synchronicities here. Allow your wisdom to play out. Ooh. Yes. This is a strong one. My ear just started ringing, Capricorn. You, your intuition knows a lot more than you than you know. All right. Your intuition has a lot more understanding of certain things, and so that's why you need to trust it. Like your intuition knows a lot more than you than you give it credit for. But because it's so blocked, there's so there's so much block here. It's it's hard for you to trust it, because you have issues of trust here. So it's hard for you to trust your intuition, which makes it very difficult for you to trust yourself. Come on, Capricorn. There's no need for you to worry, Capricorn. Like, it's no need for you to worry 
I don't know why I'm feeling a sense of worry during this time. But there's, there's really no need for you to worry. You just have to remove the logic out of spirituality. Okay. 22. You feel and you know. <laughs> Your intuition. Intuition talking all. You feel it and you know. You, it's like you, you're you're seeking answers, but you already know the answer, because you've been in den, you've been in denial because of what's going to be required to get to what it is that you want. Mhm. Mm but once you begin to trust that intuition, you will see. And it's like what Source is showing me is that like you have. So many wonderful ideas, so many ideas of working with people. You, you're you having a thought that like, you know, maybe an opportunity came to you, right? This opportunity has come to you and you wanted to, and, and, you know, get involved with this opportunity. But at the same time, it's like, you don't, you, you like kind of stand offish. It's collaborative dreaming right here. You want to do it, but you don't know if you should do it because you don't trust it, right? But it's not that you don't trust it. Your intuition is already telling you. You already know what it is that you should be doing. You already know what it is that you want to do. But because there are some things that need to be worked through here. You're having a hard time coming to a consensus on whether you should or should not do it. And then 44. Right here. The challenge isn't that. I'm feeling that the challenge is you knowing that you have to completely let go of who you are in order to become who you're supposed to be. And there's a feeling of you not wanting to depart from who you are because you feel like that's given up too much of yourself. So you're really pondering life beyond who you are now. Life after the release of who you are now. Forty-four. You have visions of life beyond death. Visions of life beyond the death of your old self coming into your new inner wisdom. Allow your inner wisdom to rise. All right. Allow your higher consciousness to rise above all else. And allow the old you to die. The old toxic ways of yourself to die. Because the essence of who you are is still there. You're not... The only thing that's going to change is your consciousness and your level of awareness and your, and your lifestyle. But you are still you. You are still you, Capricorn. Ear ringing. My ear ringing like a mother, y'all. My ear is ringing, Capricorn. It hasn't stopped ringing. <sighs> so, what else do you have for Capricorn? on and movement see and after this right after you accept this inner wisdom after you accept your intuition after you accept that you know more than what you're letting on after you accept that there are some things that you are denying yourself of right movement is going to take place and you're going to be in total control of this thing I want you to look into Rihanna Things will begin to move forward and you will be in control of it. <laughs> it's going to and it will. So you're not really losing yourself. You're actually gaining. Then we have your intentions. You got to focus what your intentions are. So set your, set your sights on what it is that you want to work on. Set your sights on what it is that you want to accomplish. And it's going to happen. No need to worry. Right? 
Just move the logic out of it. Move the logic out of it. And then the birth of this new idea, the birth of this new energy. This is like the perfect energy for that. So what's this telling you that it's time? Demeter. So what's this telling you that it's time? The only person that feels like it's not time is you. So it's, let's go into um, Capricorn's Corn's career. So it's just telling you that it's time to, to birth that project, Cap. Birth that idea, Cap. So it's just saying like, okay, well, if there's something that you are concerned with, like you this, you, like you worry about how is this gonna happen, how is that gonna happen, because of you using the logic, so it's just letting you know that everything is going to be just and fair, and it's going to work out. That's the justice card. So whatever it is, is is going to work itself out. Okay, and you're protected in your career. You're protected in whatever it is that you're doing. You're protected by the divine, and they're going to help you out. Okay? You're a builder, so go build, Capricorn. Go build. You have this ability to create whatever it is that you want to create. Because that's because because you're creative. You are a creative builder. So go and do it. Yes, okay. Source of saying it's okay for you to read your books so that you can feel more connected with your higher purpose. So, that's to clarify. I'm not telling you not to educate yourself. I'm just telling you that with spirituality, it's, it's just move the logic out of the way and it's all going to work itself out. But Source said it's still okay for you to educate yourself, but just have faith in them, okay? <laughs> Okay, source. I want to know what the Capricorn is um, needing to heal. I want to know what the Capricorn is needing to heal. Okay, let's see, Capricorn. Mm. So, Capricorn, it's not so much of what is needing to heal first all right the first thing that sources wanted me to tell you is that you are going to need help from them so 27 you are going to need help from the divine um you're going to need help from some for from something else um not outside of yourself but from within you all right you're going to need help from source you're going to need help from your guides like whatever this is in your journey this block, this denial is going to need assistance from the divine, okay? So this is also saying that, like, whatever, this family stuff, man, 20, this family, this tribal stuff, like, this is a, this is a deep wound, all right? And you may feel like, oh, well, I don't got no family issues. No, this is a deep family wound, Capricorn. You, you may be in denial. This may be one of the th things that you are in denial of right here is this family and this tribe. You definitely got to do some self-exploration on this, okay? Family and tribe. Please make a note of that. And pride. Oh, my goodness, Capricorn. They done called you out. So you walk around here like on the outside like everything is fine. And so source is like, no, because you're dying on the inside. And I need for you to <laughs> confront this and release this pride. Let others know when you're hurting. Be, be truthful with yourself that you are hurting so that you can really heal these wounds. Okay? heal these wounds and a lot of different things are going to begin to play out the way that they um should play out for you capricorn okay so what else do you got for capricorn because we're going to get ready to close it out capricorn if you are wanting the extended version of this reading go ahead and follow us on patreon um with the extended version of the reading you can get the extended version of the reading just being a member of the first tier all right so all extended versions of the readings even if you want to cross watch um they are available to you at the first tier at the support tier 
<laughs> they're gonna always tell you this capricorn this is ishmael so it's just like really you you are this powerful channel for spirit right and they wanted you to trust that you were this powerful channel right you are the you are um a divine channel they are sending definite messages through you okay and so you just have to believe in your own healing power. You just have to believe in your own abilities as well. So that's pretty much it. Just believe in yourself, Capricorn. If you want the extended version of this reading, go ahead and follow us on Patreon. And I'll talk to you later.